Ocean Collision. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Newcastle, England, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come back fight. in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Nice. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kill. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Another shot lands upstairs. You can't take too many of those big elbows. 
tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big power punch land. Now we get back to range. Misses again with a right punch. They continue to exchange. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Honing in on those counters. Right hand landing. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Nice punch there by Luke. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just out of range with that right hook. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Trying to establish that jab. A combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Lee. Nice body kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Can't take many of those, you better check. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice punch, Lance. Seconds to go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Great one, nice legs. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing eye kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple of spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated. Fighting with his legs. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice leg kick lands. I mean, that right hand lands is square. Trying to set up that counter attack. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. You gotta check these low leg kicks. up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, close guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Lee's back in full mount. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, you know I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. 
All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take any more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a fire fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him driving his head into his opponent. Nice defense there, huge block. Beautiful block. Oh, what a shot. A good right hand right there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confident. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Beautiful body kick. Beautiful strike. the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh, nice. How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability 
to dictate and control fights okay, with ready? his legs. Now he does, and he looks like Let's a future fight. champion in the making. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. I mean, look at the consistent kicking in this fight. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage inflicted there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Legaton right, so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of the kick, he would go right to his takedown, and it worked perfection. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's where the opponent, when it's time to finish, yes. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestle stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be a Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that face oh. down now. So he's really starting to put together some significant bodies. Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. Would you take a hook like that? Wobbly legs. Oh, and he's back up again. Throws the right hand there. Sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what. How about those five minutes? All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging then when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. He blocks the punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big and kick. Great kicks there. Oh! He's hurt. There's him up. Go get him. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back. Just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent worried. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the 
All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on it. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Lands with the ground and pound. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Seconds and counting remain in the fight. Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And he's out. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized.